Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing another Tuesday morning haul for you today. I went to a local store that's closing and found some great deals. Um, we have I've like two kind of close to me. One of them is closing. Thankfully one of them is staying open and it's a pretty large one. And I went there and found a bunch of stuff for Christmas that I hauled yesterday. So if you're interested in seeing that stuff, you can go ahead and click on the links that are below and follow those to see my other haul videos. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you what I got. Okay, so I got two paper pads. The first one is this Celebrate Freedom collection from Bow Bunny. I love this paper plaque. Um, it's one I used for my Happy Planner layout, which I'll show you just in case you're, if you're interested and you didn't go check that out. This is my layout for 4th of July, and I used the paper from this paper stack. Um, I'll do a really quick flip through. It does kind of repeat itself halfway through, so I'll just do half of it. It is um, not double-sided, and I love the fact that it has like summery stuff, like watermelons, but then it's got a lot of 4th of July. It's got a really nice mix, and then I love the the like florals that are added, the butterflies. I love this strawberry paper. Love, love this piece of paper. Um, the ladybugs, more butterflies, ice cream cones. Love that. The little birdie. I love this one right here. That little journaling card is so cute. And then it's got some really nice, um, Kind of plain um, like accent pieces. Love this. This will be part another one of my planners. I think I'm going to use this piece of paper. I think. Not quite sure yet. Fireworks and then it repeats itself. And then I got this hearth and heart and of home. Um, this is my favorite sticker book that I have. Let's see if I can, nope, I can't grab it. It's, it's not grabbable, but the Heart and of Home, this, like, I have this sticker book. I have actually two of them because I love it so much. It's just so pretty to me. And the paper itself didn't really do it for me, but I figured since it was, like, on sale and, um, the, because I got this at the one that's closing. It's on sale and it's kind of getting hard to find. So I thought, you know what, I better pick it up now. If I ever want it, I better pick it up now. So there is the kind of blush color. I love the little daisy flowers. The big tree. I think the reason that I don't particularly love the paper is that it doesn't have any like standout pieces to me. But then again, the stickers are really cool, so maybe that's okay because, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just like, not super inspired to be like, oh, I can use that paper and I can do a a, pay, a page with that paper. So I think that's why I never bought it. I do like the wood grain. I think that's pretty cool. That one's pretty cute, too. There is one page in here. I do like this one. But again, it's not one of those things where I can like do like a happy planner layout with this paper. Like it's just not so. But I really, I do like it. I just, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like I could love it or leave it kind of thing. I do like that. That's pretty. And then there is the journaling cards. And then it repeats itself. So I can't go to Tuesday morning without picking up stickers. <laughs> and I was actually... Um, haven't picked up a letter sticker in a really long time because I have a lot of letter stickers. I went through this phase where I was literally buying like tons and tons of letter stickers because I wanted to build my collection and now I have so many that I'm like okay I'm kind of sick of letter stickers but I see I, I found these ones and I just really like them. I like the I like that they're kind of really long and thin and so I think they'd be easy to fit in like spaces that are kind of tight. And then it is hard to find white letter stickers. Um, so yeah, 
I use these mostly like for Christmas and stuff. I use a lot of letter stickers during Christmas time. So I'm kind of sort of planning for that a little bit. Um, not too much, but just kind of thinking about what I want to do in regards to, do I want to do a December daily this year? Do I want to do it in a junk journal? Do I want to do it in an album? <laughs> do I even want to do it at all? And then I picked up these ones for fall. I love the pine cones. I love glittery pine cones. And then I picked up this one. It says, welcome home. I thought that this one would actually be cute in the paper pack I just showed you. I think I could use these in within that collection. It's very, very similar. So, yeah, I love the um, little clip thing. Oh, there's another one too. Yeah, I mean, there's some stick these, I don't know, I just really like these stickers. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll figure it out. And then I found this, um, cardstock stickers. I have the paper stack and the kind of fancier stickers, and now I have like the label stickers. So probably spring next year, I'll pull this out and do a Happy Planner layout with this in my Happy Planner. And then I found this, and I was really excited to find this because I almost purchased this at scrapbook.com, and it was like $5.00. Plus, I would have had to pay for shipping. So, um, yeah, I was excited to find this. Now I have a couple of pieces of paper, some, and then the, the cute little scissor or uh, stickers that go with this. So I will probably actually use this in spring as well. I love the yellow and the blue combination. Not really sure what the heck that thing is, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a use for that. And then I picked up this Halloween stickers. I had this last year and I really enjoyed using these stickers, especially some of the labeling stickers that were in here. Um, I just like the aesthetic. I think it's really cute. And I would love to find some like paper and stuff to match it, but the only, I didn't really find anything. Carpe diem. Um, I, a couple of weeks back, I did a pretty big Carpe diem haul and I purchased this um, planner right here. Um, I actually bought this little pom-pom thing to put on my uh, planner. I love it sticking out like this. It just looks so cute to me, but I can't really close the thing, so I have to kind of move it <laughs> off to the side. Um, but yeah, so I, and I have a meal section in here that I'm really liking using. So um, yeah, so I, decided that I wanted to get the sticker book to kind of go along with that and kind of decorate a little bit. Um, I think it will even motivate me more to um, use it. Let me get the sticker out of here. Hold on. Okay, so really cute stickers. And I was also thinking maybe if I ever do like a I love this one. If I ever do like a cooking theme or anything this would be really cute as well so cute oh I didn't even know it had one of these in it I love these sticker pages all right yeah I'm excited to have that I'm gonna put that in my collection of carpe diem stuff <laughs> All right, just a few other miscellaneous things that I picked up. I picked up these Prima flowers. I don't know, I, I, I will find the right thing for this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but um, I liked the color combination of the like darker gray and then this light gray and that teal. And then I loved the little accent pieces that they had. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll find something to do with it. And then I found this, um, I f everybody's been hauling this Amy Trangerine inflatable ephemera. I really don't have any idea why I bought this. <laughs> I think it's just, I love the pretzel actually. And I do like a craft, a life that you love. I love that little thing. I don't know what I would do with it or what I'm going to do with it, but I found it. I said, you know what? I'm going to pick this up because I've seen it in everybody's hauls and I thought it was really cute. So we'll find something to do with it. 
I bought this um, devotional sticker or state date stamp sticker. I liked it because it has all of the days of the week and then it has praise and prayer um, on there and I like that. Um, yeah, so I liked, I liked that it had the dates of the week, the days of the week. Okay, I found these uh, photo overlays um, and I'll just show you the picture of them. Basically what it is, is a, it's a little piece of acetate and then you just put it on top of a picture and then the little, you know, word shows through. Um, I may or may not have bought these for my sister and I may or may not have forgetten it, forgotten to put them in her birthday present. So they may or may not go in her Christmas present. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then I was so excited I found this Bo Bunny stamp. I saw um, uh, Cheaply Chic Lynette, she hauled this stamp and I had to have it. Um, I have the, um, I have something with this kind of design on it. This specifically on there. I'm not sure what it is. I just had to have this. Um, I just loved the stamp set. I love the little dictionary page. Um, so yeah. And I love it. This is like a little, uh, um, what's it called? What's it called? A little advertisement advert thing from the newspaper. And then she also found these and said she was planning on using these in her next journaling, um, book that's coming out. She... It's a, like a lemon theme. I think it also has cherries in it, if I'm not mistaken. So I went ahead and purchased this because she <laughs> purchased this. So thanks a lot, Annette. You made me purchase these stamps. Um, so I did that. And then I went ahead and grabbed this too. I recently used this one in my planner, my happy planner, um, right here, actually. Look at that. I turned right to it. And I love, love, I absolutely love this page. I love how this looks and I love how this looks with it. And um, it's just, I love this page. It makes me happy. And um, so I really wanted, I, when I saw another one, I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab it just so I have another one because I think this is really super cute. Yeah. And then it has the other little pieces that go with it as well. So that is everything that I got in this haul. Um, like I said, I did haul on Tuesday. I hauled some stuff. I hauled a bunch of punches and did some demos at the end. Um, I got a bunch of tools and stuff. Really fun haul. And then I got, and the Christmas in July was yesterday, and I did a lot of all the Christmas stuff that I found. So if you're interested in those, they will be linked down below in the description box. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.